Uh, I'm Mike Carter. My business is Fiber New of Loudoun, LLC. We're located in Ashburn, Virginia. It comes down to the, the ability that we have to make someone else happy for me. Seeing the, the surprise, if you would, the awe factor of that, you know, you've done something that they didn't expect that you could do, and you did it well, and, and, uh, and you made them happy. That's, a, that's such a, a great feeling, the gratification of knowing that you've done something and you've done it well. I still love that part of it. One of the main focus points for Diane and I when we first bought the franchise was that we wanted to have it a, a business that was flexible. So that at that time, our, probably our, our thought process was more flexible so I could be spending more time as I wanted to with my kids because they were one, three, and five as they were growing up. But being flexible to, to work your schedule for your, your customers as well. And that's what we thought the business was going to be, and it has been. It's, it's, it's adaptable, it's flexible, and it's, and it's been great for us. You have to learn to be adaptable. It's not something that you can necessarily teach. It's just something you might want to try to keep in the back of your head that, you know, you, you may have a con an idea or a concept of where you want to do with this particular thing, but your customer may think in a different way, so you have to be able to interact with your customer to make sure you find out what they want. That's what your job is, to find out what they want, not what you think should happen. And so that's, uh, you learn how, you have to learn to do that, do it well. See, I'm kind of a motion, man in motion. I, I, I don't do well sitting in a, in a behind a desk, and not everybody's like that, but it makes me happy to be moving and um, getting a variety of different scenarios and, and scenery and things like that. Uh, I, I really enjoy that. And we got a tear in a perforated leather seat bottom on the front seat of a Sienna minivan. My business model is still the fairly close to, if not almost the exact same business model I bought into 17 years ago, and that's a mobile repair service. So. I do everything on the road. I don't take things back to a shop or my garage. I didn't reinvent the wheel. I just followed the procedures that I was taught. Thank the Lord for all these other guys who did the groundbreaking stuff that figured it all out. And if you just do what you're taught in training, <laughs> maybe you'll be successful. A way to have time with my kids when they were growing up was in the summer when they were out of school, they would all take turns riding with me for a day or two in the summer. It would also give my wife a break. And so they've been around the business since we've been doing it. But we've never made it a mandatory than any of our kids and be involved in the business. So Kyle is kind of a worker like I am, I guess, to a certain degree. After his so uh, freshman year of college, he came home at Christmas and uh, asked Diana and I if he could come to work for us. He said he, would want, he wanted to try fiber now. So I told him, that's fine, but you're going to go through my training program just like you're a technician from somewhere else. And he said, I said, so you have to, it's not something that's just going to be okay, you know, casual. Hey, I come to work with me this weekend, that weekend, here's what you're going to have to do. He said that he would like to eventually go ahead and, and get into the business when I retire and own the franchise and run the franchise. So, I mean, he loves it. So I'll see how that works out in about 10 years. <laughs> the biggest thing that I think I've learned is that it doesn't matter whether it's a 2007 Prius or a 2015 BMW it's about the people. It's the person that you're dealing with and what they expect from you, whether it's a, a, a Toyota Prius or a Chevy Tahoe or it's a Rolls Royce, you know, Phantom 2. They want their work done to their expectations, to their level, whatever level it is. To me, it's just a leather seat, but to them, that, you know, it's that person who bought that Toyota Prius may have been saving for years to buy that. The guy with the Rolls Royce probably just petty cash. But the point being is they both have expectations and you have to learn how to, I have, 
You need to learn how to make sure that you meet their expectations, and that's what we're here for, is to meet that person's expectations, whatever person it is.